Hi my beautiful stars, I hope that you're doing so so well today and just know that you're so beautiful and so loved and I'm so appreciative of you guys subscribing and liking my videos and following me on this journey. If you're new here, my name is Molly and for the months of September and October, I have been uploading Halloween and fall related content basically because fall is one of my favorite seasons and Halloween is my favorite holiday. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna mash them both up and just upload a bunch of spooky goodness for everyone to enjoy. So if you like any Halloween fall related content, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button and like this video if you like it. So for today's video, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 Netflix horror movie slash scary movie recommendations and I'll share the title of course of the film, the year it was made and or the year it was released at least and like a little synopsis of what the movie is about. So let's dive in. Number one is Sinister. This is from 2012. A true crime writer discovers a cache of videotapes depicting a several brutal murders that took place in the very house he just bought. So this movie, I remember seeing it in theaters and it just kept me like on my toes and it's very creepy. I'm just gonna say that and I'm gonna leave it at that. It is creepy. Number two is Eli. This is from 2019. With his desperate parents in tow, an 11-year-old boy with a debilitating illness checks into an isolated clinic to undergo experimental therapy. This one is a Netflix original and it's very ominous and it's supernatural also. It just kind of, it's a mystery or like a psychological thriller in a way because you're just thinking about like why is this happening to him and it doesn't make any sense until the ending. So just keep that in mind. Number three is one of my favorite films like ever and it's insidious this is from 2010 hoping to leave their haunted house behind a suburban family moves to a new place only to learn the home isn't haunted their eldest son is this is only available on netflix until october 1st so watch it while you can but this film is bone chilling jump scares galore literally the music just like sets the tone like the violins and stuff that they use for like the background music terrifies the heck out of me it just my anxiety is just constantly like spiking and i'm like Ugh. Is it gonna stop? Is it going to stop? But you just can't stop watching. It's supernatural, spooky, there's like it's demonic kind of presence in the boy and the parents are f trying to figure out like how to get rid of it and it's just really good. I don't know, all the Insidious movies freak me the F out and they're just, they're so good. Number four is The Boy. This is from 2016. A nanny is hired by a couple to look after their boy. She's shocked to learn that their charge is actually a doll that the couple treats like a human. This gives me child's play vibes just because of the doll and for me, anything regarding like a doll being somewhat alive or like being treated like a human, it just freaks me out. So this movie already was like creeping me out from like the, like, the get-go i was like this is definitely not going to sit with me well but it's spooky it's kind of like not what you expect but what you do expect at the same time and it leaves you thinking that's what i at least felt when i was watching it number five is poltergeist 1982 malevolent Malev whoa i can't speak malevolent why can't i like literally just said this word malevolent Malevolent? Yes. Malevolent otherworldly forces invade a suburban home and transform the house into a supernatural sideshow centered on the family's young daughter. This one is a classic. I had to throw it on here. This became a series, I believe a trilogy, and then they remade the film just a few years ago. I have never seen the newest one, but I don't know if it's anything like the original. However, this movie always leaves me spooked out, and even though it's like a little cheesy, the filmography, like with the effects and stuff, is not going to be anywhere near what it could be today it's kind of like ghostbusters in a sense like it just is like that's creepy let's move on you know and just the whole plot is just you think it's over and then more stuff happens and those are like one of my favorite scary movies because or types of scary movies because you're just like never expecting it to end and then finally it ends and you're like that's how it ends <laughs> so it's good. I don't know if that made any sense. It's kind of a ramble there, but it's creepy. Number six is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Uh, this is from 1988. An alien band of killer clowns descends from the cosmos to harvest scores of small town victims, cocooning their prey in cotton candy to eat later. So this I actually hadn't seen until this year, and it is hilarious. I mean, it's cheesy and it's scary. Like, please don't get me wrong it is scary that's why it's on here and i feel like scary is like not the right word to use it's just after the events that happened in 2016 with 
like actual clowns like walking around clowns just freak me out and so i know that there's other people that are freaked out by clowns as well so i threw down here if you want to creep yourself out even more and fear clowns even more uh there's this reason um or here is your reason <laughs> it's cheesy the acting is subpar but they just like pop up and you're like if that happened to me i would probably freak the f out like i'm not going to lie so that's why it's on here <laughs> Number seven is House at the End of the Street. This is from 2012. Moving to a new town proves even more stressful for a teenager when she learns that the house next door was the site of a double murder. So I saw this in theaters as well, and I haven't seen it since. However, since I found out it was on Netflix, I will be watching it, especially the month of October. It's just creepy and all of that. It's really good, and I know probably some people don't think that, but it is pretty good. It is like a mystery suspense kind of thing, but it's also a thriller in the sense that she's like figuring this stuff out and like i don't know jennifer lawrence i feel like is really good at portraying people who are like trying to figure stuff out and she's like oh my gosh this is actually happening so that doesn't really tell you a lot about it but it is creepy and it just is kind of unsettling in a way and it like spikes your anxiety <laughs> number eight is sleepy hollow from 1999 new york detective ichabod crane is sent to sleepy hollow to investigate a series of mysterious deaths in which the victims are found beheaded so this is i feel like another classic a lot of people like this movie johnny depp and christina ricky are in it or richie i never know if it's like ricky or richie but this is good i like it um it's a little gory in a sense christopher walken's in it um, and he plays the Headless Horseman. I think the whole, like, kind of story behind the Headless Horseman is really creepy and, again, kind of unsettling because you're like, this actually... It didn't actually happen. I mean, who knows? The film and the setting, everything about it is just really cool and it's kind of creepy and... I don't know how to describe it. It's just... It's different, kind of spooky. It's kind of gross in a way because, like, these people are getting beheaded. And you see it happen and you're like this is disgusting but nine is carrie this is the 2002 version a remake of the classic 1976 horror flick finds misfit carrie getting revenge on all of the cool people that have bullied her over the years so i always feel bad for carrie like i feel like she's one of those like it's a movie that makes you feel bad for her because she's getting picked on but then she like literally acts out in this fit of rage and she's like literally f you all and she just uses her supernatural powers to go after these people which i'm like also like that's maybe a little too much not quite what i was looking for carrie but go off sister and i feel like the mom always creeps me out in these films so i'd recommend watching it because the mom is just absolutely terrifying <laughs> number 10 and the last one is paranormal activity 2007 when Katie and Micah fear their home may be haunted by a demonic presence, Micah sets up a video camera to document all the action. This gives me Blair Witch vibes because it's like the found footage kind of thing. So it feels like it's homemade, but it's not. And the fact that it's like touching them and like pulling at their sheets and like pulling them in bed and things like that, that stuff just really freaks me out because you're sitting there watching them like sleep at night and then something happens. Like if that were to happen to me, I would be out of there <laughs> and to kind of jump off of paranormal activity if you want to watch more of a goofy like horror movie is a haunted house it's a lot like paranormal activity and it's just more like funny because it's a goofy comedy so i hope that you guys enjoy these um recommendations and let me know if you watch any of them or if you've seen any of them down below let me know what your favorite horror movie is on netflix or any streaming service and i'll be sure to give it a watch all right see you next time bye